On some special occasions such as Valentine's Day, weddings, or Mother's Day, flowers are one of the most appreciated traditions. Roses are traditional for Valentine's Day, and brides choose from dozens of different colors and patterns to match a wedding theme. Almost any flower is acceptable on Mother's Day, including bouquets of wildflowers. The colorful, often sweet-smelling part of many plants is the flower. But it isn't just attractive to humans. Plants produce flowers that attract other animals too, such as insects, birds, and even bats. Animals are attracted by the bright colors, sweet smells, and the promise of nectar, a sticky sweet substance eaten by some of these animals. In order to reproduce, sexually reproducing plants need to get their male gamete, the pollen, to the female gamete, the egg. Pollen is produced on the anther, a male part of the flower, but the female egg is in the flower's ovary. Plants don't have hands to move the pollen from the anther to the ovary, so how does it get there? One way is to have another animal do the moving for them. When a bee, for example, lands on a flower, it crawls around, catching the pollen on its legs. It may then fly to another flower, where its legs may touch the flower's stigma, which is sticky and traps the pollen, delivering it to the ovary. In this way, animals move pollen to stigmas just by touching the insides of a flower. This is called pollination. Animals who carry pollen are called pollinators. Flowers are adapted to attract pollinators.